I'm back. I'm back. I'm back from my break time, probably playing Minecraft or something. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be going through everything else that has yet to be released in the Transformers Studio Series toy line. I don't think there are going to be concept characters in this one this time. But before we get into the video, y'all know the dude. You know what? We're not going to do a YouTube drill. Let's just get on to everything that's missing in Age of Extinction. Starting off, we need a remold of the High Octane Bumblebee. I know we already got a repack of the 2014 mold, but that one's Target exclusive, so it's not too late to do a remold. Next on the list will be the Stinger version of Bumblebee. All they'd have to do is remold the car bits and the head. Next on the list would be a Drift, but in his car mode, and don't you dare do a repack of the 2014 mold. Next on the list is Crosshairs. I heard he's uh, being rumored for Studio Series. I just hope they add minor retools if they use the Last Night mold. Next on the list would be Hound, but with a major retool of the 2014 mold, and this time all of his weapons consisting of that one blaster rifle he had, a better version of his minigun, a better version of his knife, and he could still keep his four pistols and his two quad barrel shotguns. Next on the list would be an Evasion mode Optimus Prime, but like a major retool of the 2014 one. If necessary, they could use some parts of the 32 Optimus mold. And for accessories, he could just come with his gun. Next on the list would be a Night Optimus, in which he could come with his sword, his shield, and a repaint of the evasion mode gun that I mentioned. Next on the list, this one's probably going to be a Target exclusive, but I think they should do a 2-pack of Battle Damage Ratchet and Leadfoot. Next on the list would be a KSI Sentry, but black, red, and gray. They're going to have to do a complete remold on the white one because the white one looked different than all the other sentries. Next on the list would be a three pack of those three junk heaps that transformed into that garbage truck. Next on the list would be a leader class two head. They could just use the shockwave mold but remold the chest, the part that holds the heads, the two heads, and an extra arm. Next on the list would be an Age of Extinction lockdown but with the head visor, the seed, the head cannon, and the spark remover. Next on the list would be a starfighter but with the thrusters being slightly remolded, and it should come with an extra Shadow Raider figure. Next on the list would be a Leader Class Scorn, based off the Voyager Class Last Night Scorn. Next on the list would be a Leader Class Slug and Strafe. Whoa, really? That's what Strafe looks like in his robot mode? Cool. Alright, well that's it for Age of Extinction. Now let's get down to the Last Night. Starting off, we gotta have a remold of the Last Night Bumblebee. By the way, this is the same scenario as the High Octane Bumblebee, so I'm just going to skip through this. By the way, Hasbro messed up on Cogman and Drift. But at least Drift comes with the baby Dinobots. Next would be a complete remold of the Lambo version of Hot Rod. And a better version of Squeaks would be nice. Hi, Chihuahua. Next would be a Last Night Crosshairs, because why not? Next would be a Studio Series Last Night Hound, but the same accessories as a Studio Series Age of Extinction Hound. Next would be a Nemesis Prime can come with his sword, his shield, and that quad bear shotgun that we see for a brief moment before Bumblebee kicks it off of his hand. Next on the list, I thought it'd be cool to uh, see a trench in the Studio Series toy line. Not sure how they're gonna do that though. Next on the list would be a Studio Series Voyager Class Canopy. It would be cool if Hasbro were to make a Studio Series Day Trader, but instead of all that junk that he has on his backpack, I think Hasbro should replace all that junk with uh, blaster accessories. And it would be cool to see the Starscream head, too. Next would be another core class wheelie, but with sand weathering and an extra gun. Now, this seems very unlikely, but I think Hasbro should do a two-pack of Bulldog and Lieutenant. Next on the list would be a Studio Series Last Night Grimlock, but with his staff. They completely forgot about that for the Age of Extinction Grimlock. Next would be another Last Night version of Dinobot Slug. Next would be a Voyager Class Steelbane with whatever weapons he had and the Talisman. And a Voyager Class Skulltron wouldn't hurt. And it would be crazy but cool to see a Dragon Storm. I'm not really sure how they'd do that if Hasbro were to make a Voyager Class Knights. They'd probably have to do that as a Haslab but that wouldn't hurt. Next on the list would be a Studio Series Barricade but a complete remold. Not a repack of the Last Night 2017 one. Next would be a Berserker, probably going to do a repaint of the Last Night mold. However, I think they should do a remold because this is Studio Series after all. Next would be a Dreadbot, which would be a repaint of either Crankcase or Crowbar, I don't know. But he's got to have his gun. Next on the list would be a Core Class Mohawk. Next would be an Onslaught, but they'd have to do a remold because of the truck he transforms into. And his arm, which I'm not really sure how they do, but that would be cool. Oops, almost forgot about this dude. I mean, all they could do is just repaint Topspin and then replace his head with Leadfoot's head. Simple. Next is Nitro Zeus, which could be a minor repaint of the KSI boss, but 
with a proper head of Shockwave. Next on the list would be a Voyager class Megatron, but a complete remold. And all of his accessories consisting of his axe, his fusion cannon, the fire effects for his fusion cannon, the staff, and an interchangeable face mask. Next would be a Titan class Infernicus with those two big guns and all those little guys that transformed into Infernicus. Almost forgot to mention an included figurine of that lady. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the last night. Now let's get down to whatever's left of uh, Bumblebee. Starting off, it would be cool to have a Cybertronian version of Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. The other Optimus goes for quite a lot, so wouldn't hurt to do a slight remold. Next would be a proper size scale of Shockwave. I mean, they could do a later class, because why not? It looks epic on later class. Next on the list would be a Cybertronian version of Shatter and Dropkick. Yes, more Shatter and Dropkicks. Hey, free real estate. Would be very nice to have a Skywarp right now. Any day now. I mean, Thundercracker came out, so... I don't know what's taking them that long. Next would be a Cybertronian version of Blitzwing. All they'd have to do is repaint Thundercracker. And then you pretty much got a Cybertronian Blitzwing. Next on the list would be a Dirge and Ramjet. I know these characters never made it to the Bumblebee, but it would still be cool to see these in uh, figure form. I mean, honestly, all you have to do is just repaint Thrust. Simple. Next on the list, I think Hasbro should do a three-pack of some Seekers with some uh, paint variations. Because why not? It's a good idea. So yeah, that's pretty much it. There wasn't much to talk about because Hasbro released all the characters into figure form. Anyways, let's just get on to Rise of the Beast. For context, we're just going to go through everything that's been confirmed. Starting off, Optimus Prime, which could just be a minor remold of the 38 Optimus. Next on the list would be an off-road Bumblebee, but a minor remold of the 01 Bumblebee, just with the Bumblebee head. And uh, actually, this one's been leaked. Well, sorta. Next on the list would be a Rise of the Beast RC. They say she might be repainted red, so yeah. Next on the list would be a Mirage. We still don't know what he looks like, but when he's revealed, I hope we get a good uh, figure version of him in Studio Series form. Next on the list is Wheeljack. They say he might be that Volkswagen vehicle, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. And there have been leaks of uh, Optimus Primal, and for later class, um, okay. Next on the list is Rhinox. That should be interesting. Cheater is also sort of leaked, but for Voyager class, weird, but okay. And same thing for Air Razor, but she's going to be Deluxe Class. Sorta. Next on the list is Scourge, and he's also sorta leaked, but for Leader Class as well. Next would be a Deluxe Class Nightbird. Next on the list would be a Voyager Class Battle Trap. Never heard of that character before. Alright, gonna have to wrap it up. If there's anything I missed, I think it would be a Dark of the Moon, Dark Steel, and Sky Hammer. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Gonna have to wrap it up for this video. Be sure to hit that big red button, slam that like button, share this with your friends, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video, and yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya!